Welcome, welcome back everyone um, to our third and final match of the day. Uh, Join with me again in the booth is Roberto. Hello. The wonderful avatar. And uh, joined by Impulse Fun on the left. Say hello. Hello. And uh, we got the wonderful Rainex on the right. Yo. <laughs> Should be a pretty sick match. Yeah, they spawn in kind of a forest, a little trek to the village, but it's not too far. Um, does look to be a rune portal pretty close by. Not often these rune portals are like too cracked uh, or completable. I don't think that one's completable, but actually a solid amount of iron and obsidian in that one. Plenty of flint, gold shovel. Kind of a nice, kind of a sick uh, rune portal, to be honest. We'll see Impulse going into the nether here. Taking a peek around. A little bit of a ravine spawn. Oh, uh, is that a bastion? Bastion, not too far. A bastion, that's what I'm kind of looking at now because this nether looks a little gross in terms of the lava lake there, mm. but I think they spawn fairly close to the bastion, so it should be a pretty fast, uh, nice and easy village. You got the room portal to help yourself along here with flint and uh, fire charges. Got plenty of food, got some extra beds, quick housing bastion, I think. So I'm thinking this could be a, a pretty quick seed. All right, time is up, and it seems like both runners are just jumping into it. Okay, my timer started on uh, Rainex's start, so there's about a seven second delay. Going for the ruined um, treasure, no, ruined portal loot, far before um, Rainex does. Making quick work of it. Got a gold pick, gold armor already. Love mm -hmm. to see it. Oh, oh, look at all that dirt. Nice, yes. getting the extra blocks. Um, it's first match, Rainex Impulse. Uh, pretty good seed, honestly. I mean, they're they're approaching Bastion. I think it's gonna be a top-down housing. Uh, they're gonna have to probably just pillar up to start this one, because there's a lava floor, so I don't know if they can do much from the bottom here. And it seems like uh, Impulse is pulled ahead by a couple of seconds here. Impulse is a little bit, uh, has a bit of stream delay compared to uh, Rainex. True. Okay, once again, on very, very similar paces, um, Rainex did reach the fortress first. I personally am a, I, I, I'm a huge proponent of giving out more difficult seeds. Just, uh, mm. uh, you poke them with something sharp and see what they do about it. <laughs> and they're both uh, blinding out roughly the same time. Again, this is, uh, <laughs> this is so loaded. close. Neither of them made any minor mistakes at all. Exactly. They're just. The, the moment that I think, oh, okay, so Impulse is pulled ahead by a few seconds. Oh, now Rain is ahead by a few seconds. Oh, but there's stream delay, so Impulse... No, they're they're toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They are toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Toe -to -toe. Yeah, their timers are slightly different. I believe Impulse is eight seconds behind here. Oh, there's a perch for Rain. Six beds and hot Oh, water. that did zero damage. I think that was just an emergency bed because yeah. the dragon was too low. But we believe... <clears throat> With uh, five more beds, Rain has taken round one, it seems. Yep, looks like Rain uh, entered in first. He will get the first one cycle. All right, uh, welcome back, everyone. We are here for uh, seed two, the, the infamous monument seed for these two. Um, yeah, so you'll locate Stronghold right away. That path to take you, um, there should be a monument, it should be majority ocean. And I don't think, I don't think there's anything else. I think we're good. Um, so yeah. You guys can open the world file in three, two, one, go. Have either entered the nether yet? I don't think so. Don't think I've seen him yet, taking a good amount of time in the overworld. Um, Monument Oceans do take a good amount of time to get down right, because there's mm -hmm. so much you can do, and it's it's so spread out. So it's, it's not like a, an overworld seed where you're looking, you know, 100, 200 blocks away, and that's about it. It's uh, you have a huge direction to go, and you could choose any kind of route. I think Rainex checking the whole Nether here, just getting a scope of things, seeing if there is maybe a nearby Bastion. Not a bad idea. If there's a Bastion that was kind of missed, that's uh, fairly close by and has easy terrain to get to, could just do a Bastion seed. But it doesn't look like he's seen anything. Uh, all right. Well, if you guys want to give us um, impulse, does have a timer? Oh, it's on the, I see, okay. 
All right, so we'll, we'll go off of uh, Impulse's timer. I think Rainix started maybe five, 10 seconds sooner. So okay. yeah, okay. We'll, we'll go off of Impulse for general time. We're currently starting a uh, Monument Seed between Impulse and Rainix. And there's a cute little Taiga Village actually right off spawn that I thought was cool. And I routed a little bit and Impulse has gotten the same house. Uh, convenient wood and a little bit of extra food here. Actually, a substantial amount. Uh, so impulse sniping that gonna have a lot comfier route, I think, than uh, rain. The but one. my my new favorite is the jungle skog jam jam. That's oh, jungle skog jam jam. Yeah, we added that one recently as well. We do have jungle skog jam jam. I don't know why. I really don't understand why people want it. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you've been looking at? Have you seen the emote? Look at I the have. Emote. I have. That explains why people want it. It's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just jungle scuff jam jam. Yeah. I find myself trying to use Twitch emotes everywhere other than Twitch because <laughs> it, they just convey a sort of emotion that normal emojis cannot. Is Impulse doing? Oh wow. Okay. What is... We need to watch this. Impulse is doing a two by one door magma ravine portal. Under the monument. Oh, I have n certainly never seen this before. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's if you study up, it is doable to do a two by one. Mag it's just a very enclosed space here, uh, but you basically oh. put the door and you go above and behind the door, and you go one higher than you usually do, so that the uh, obsidian lands on your feet. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Very time consuming, but hey, in the nether, it worked. Yeah, yeah, Impulse has, I guess, more of the intended spawn. Mm -hmm. Close to the spawn that I checked. Ooh, getting beat up by a lot of piglins there, which is always good. You want to see piglins. Uh, now he's going to figure out, have to figure out how to uh, get these guys trading. Yeah, that's fair I'm enough guessing. in a tournament setting, I would. Mm -hmm. Getting some piggies. Going to do the boat and the hole strategy. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. oh. One heart. Not something you like to see. I think Impulse is still on normal, um, which I've been yelled at to change, but mm -hmm. what are they doing? What are those piglets doing? They're having a little <laughs> bit of a dance. I think they were trying to get the goal, but it was stuck under stuck the boat under or the something. Boat. <laughs> what is this? Oh, you can't it's... place it now because their hitboxes are no! there. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, impulse is not. Oh no! Oh gosh! Impulse takes the death from a piglin. Oh no! Not S sub eight minutes, but still very far into the. Oh gosh! Mm -hmm. So yeah, it should, and, it should uh, copy it over. Raynex has uh, emerged from the netherrack wall. Things you love to see. Getting his piggies. <laughs> Which is okay, very helpful. Is at the blaze spawner. Had to block up some wither skeletons, but uh, good maneuver. Where is the pearls? Rain is just uh, doing a little bit of a dance, uh, juking the ones that aren't trading. Uh, it is guaranteed yeah. to give him at least 16 pearls. He is missing one pearl trade. I don't know if it's because he like made a gold pick or if because there's somewhere else. I don't know if he can finish without another pearl. Yeah, and Rain, uh, I think Rain's pretty close. Could have done the low render distance to try to force spawn dolphins, but he's pretty close. Yeah, this gravel patch is the top of the portal room. Mm -hmm. So the his nether position was very close to the stronghold. Oh, See if it's a oh, one eye. It it's a zero eye. It's a zero eye. Unfortunately. We're really not sure how this is gonna turn out. That is a lot of mobs. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the script for this <gasps> round. Oh, pearl in the chest. Right. Pearl in the chest. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. <gasps> oh my god, don't get one heart. Zombie. One heart. Oh, this is one, one heart. <gasps> Oh, oh, no, 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 Okay, oh my god. Oh, he's <laughs> going for he it. Have? Oh my goodness. He only has six carrots and like rotten flesh, I think. Oh, Impulse is on half a heart. I didn't see that happen, but running through Crimson on half a heart here. Uh, so oh, I... seven. Good luck. Oh, Rain's going in for this challenging one anchor three bed. Oh, not good damage on the first hit. Those are not looking like good beds. Oh, oh low no. damage. And I don't think that'll be enough to finish Dragon with the axe. 
So we're looking at something pretty manka right now and there is uh, less than 30 seconds on the clock. The dragon flies away with still a quarter of its health left. Did have a chance to just barely take it and we will stop the timer. Bring the runners in here and uh, we'll have to go to sudden death. All right, when I uh, do the countdown, you guys will just walk in and enter end and best of luck. Um, you could go in three, two, one, go. Uh, okay, yeah, I want to look at different different strategies here. So Rain is taking the go outside the Obsidian Pillars to shoot arrows. Impulse is going for a high roll. Uh, I don't think he shot down any crystals. Just going for the high roll, risky, weight, and uh, pearl. And I, I don't like Rainix's strategy as much. I could talk about that more, but we're seeing a quick perch from Impulse. His strategy oh, wow. paying off. That's and Impulse takes a it. Very fortunate high roll. All right. Uh, welcome back, everyone, for seed number three, tiebreaker between Impulse Fund and Rainex. Uh, it's going to be a wild card seed. There will be a Bastion. Uh, the overworld is, who knows? Maybe some fun. Maybe maybe something painful. We'll see. Uh, yeah, and you guys can go in three, two, one, go. We're going to see what this wild card looks like. Wild card seed. Is we that jungle? Do see a jungle, it's jungle. spawn. <laughs> It's a jungle. jungle. Uh, so this is a pretty fun seed, actually, of all the wildcard seeds. This is a viable desert temple and a viable jungle temple. Um, huh. There's not a crazy amount in both, so it's not like runners even need to go to either. But they do have the option to get um, a good amount of gold, and there's actually several diamonds. I think there's three diamonds in that jungle temple. Oh, wow. So this is kind of a cool one. There's a little lava pool over there. There's actually a savanna village um, kind of on the other side of the jungle. There's a desert village here as well. There are so many different ways um, to play this seed. I Rain X found a dungeon. Like Rain getting a like really, like really nice spawn here right next to a bridge, oh. chalice, and a fortress. Okay. Yeah, There's this... a bastion. Wait, Rain, hang on, sorry. Rain X says he needs to ask me for something? Uh, okay. Let me see. Uh... Hey, Rainix, hey. my, my chat is saying uh, you want to ask me something. Uh, no? Oh, okay, cool, chat. Thanks. All right, never mind. Uh, carry on. We're good. Wow, thanks, chat. Very cool. Very cool. Super trolled. That. Thanks. The runners are just uh, going back through, ironing the last of their stuff. Time is up. Let's see uh, how much fun both runners have with this route. Uh, all right. Let's see Impulse go for this. Rain is completely missing this jungle temple with three diamonds. Uh, I hope Impulse gets to this quickly and makes it worthwhile. And there's no mobs and everything is great. Because I, I do love me a jungle temple run. But I don't think either of them will go for the desert temple. We'll see. Okay, let's see if there's mobs down here. Does he know the combo? That's not the... Wait. Oh, does he not know the combo? No, he did. Yeah, but now you have to get out. Okay. Does he know the... Oh, he's doing it. Impulse <laughs> actually knowing how to route a toolless jungle temple. Wow, I'm so right, impressed. Wow, no one knows how to do that. That's such a weird skill to know how to do. He didn't even practice that in the in the routing. Yeah, you grab the pistons and then block up with it. Wow, I'm so impressed. What a pl I gotta say, this is a great wall card seed. Very non-linear pathing. Yeah, yeah, both turners taking drift. Oh, is he going to Savannah Village now as well? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, I, I think for food, beds, um, uh, runners taking completely different structures, <laughs> seeing a mm -hmm. desert village, um, a dungeon lava pool for Rainex, and a jungle temple Savannah Village for Impulse. How cool. Okay, and it seems like Rainex is going to be uh, entering another first not being bothered at all by the big piggy <clears throat> things you love to see Let's see is this a dip route or is he gonna yep. go back oh oh this is interesting oh gold block oh, yoinked a gold block but it's fine still plenty of others 
What? <laughs> Piglets are what falling is... and dying. Oh, he's doing a a new. Okay, oh. he's doing an opposite shoulder route. Okay. Lost uh, at least two guys I saw fall there. Still plenty of dudes, but um. Okay, that's that's certainly very interesting. Kind of cool route. All right, we'll see impulse. Very close behind, also having to deal with a single hoglin on the bridge. Getting hit just like rain, we'll see what route is chosen here. I'm guessing the, the right shoulder Dowski route is not available, and it's just a left triple chest, so that's why rain did this one. Impulse but it going. certainly is looking like a dip for impulse. Rain is out, heading to the fortress. It's only a few pearl throws away. Definitely looking like it could be subtenable. We'll see about the blaze rod drops. And uh, Impulse is also at the spawner, so pretty nice catching up, but having to deal with the same terrible uh, <laughs> blaze rod RNG. <laughs> yeah, 0 for 6, is it really 0 for 6? 0 for 6? No way. Yeah, it's not a sub 10, but he didn't burn to death, so I guess you, you take some losses, but you also take some dubs. All right, Raina's got everything set up. You're just uh, tangoing. Oh, okay. Well, there's the perch right. <laughs> I guess it's clean. That's relatively clean. Let's see about this one cycle. Looking like very good damage, very good bets. Well done. That's a very solid, clean win from Rain.